The Adventures of Robin Hood, Chapter 4, The Archery Contest Robin Hood was holding an important meeting with his men. The Sheriff of Nottingham thinks he can trick me, he said. Well, I have a few tricks of my own. He told his men to disguise themselves as peasants. We're going to the sheriff's, ar sheriff's archery contest and I'll win that gold arrow. The gold arrow. Hooray for Robin! shouted the men. The day came for the archery contest. Many people gathered on the town green. Knights, ladies, and wealthy merchants sat on the side, on one side. Pe peasants and beggars stood on the other. A raised platform was placed near the targets. That was for the sheriff and his party. The sheriff rode toward, toward the green on his white horse. He was dressed in fine clothing. A purple velvet cap and purple velvet robes, a gold chain hung from his neck. A beautiful woman dressed in blue, velvet robes trimmed with feather, feathers rode beside him. The sheriff sat down and peered eagerly at the crowd. Robin Hood must be here somewhere, he said. I've never met him, but I know he and his men always wear green. A large group of archers was ready to compete. The crowd began cheering for their favorites, and the men blew a horn. The contest began. After several rounds of shooting, only five men were left. Three were famous archers. Everybody, everyone kn knew them. The fourth man was a stranger dressed in blue. The fifth man was another stranger who wore red, no, ra ragged red clothes. Hmm, said the sheriff. One of those strangers must be Robin Hood. Do you see him? He, ha he asked one of his men, who knew the outlaw and could recognize him. No, Robin Hood is not here, replied the man. Robin Hood is taller than that man in blue. The man in red has brown hair and an eye patch. Robin's hair, he, Robin's hair is blonde, and his eyesight is is quite sharp. The sheriff hit his leg in anger. So Robin Hood didn't dare to show up. He said, "Well, then he's a coward as well as thief." Soon, only two archers remained. They were the famous archer Adam of the Elm and the stranger and the stranger in red. Each man had one last shot. First Adam took aim and struck the lord the, the target close to the center. The crowd cheered. Next it was the stranger's turn. He picked up his bow and slowly took aim. The arrow zipped through the air and struck the target center. Everyone stood up and clapped for the red archer. Adam of Dell took a long breath and shook his head. I'm finished shooting for the day. For no one can match this stranger's shot. With that, he put down his bow. The sheriff stepped down from the platform. He presented the gold arrow to the stranger. In red. Here, good fellow, take your prize. What's your name? Mm, they call me Jack of the Vodel, said the archer. You're the best archer I've ever seen, said the sheriff. In fact, I'd like to join my. Sh I'd like you to join my house. I, like you. I in fact, I'd like you to join my household. If you work for me, I'll provide you with clothes, fruit, and lodging. Lodging. What do you say to that? The stranger laughed loudly. No man, ev no man will ever be my master, he said. I like to do what I want to do. 
The sheriff was very insulted. What a rude response. Now get out of here. Later that day, a group of red men gathered in Chivalt Forest. They congratulated Robin for his fine performance at the archery contest. So take a while f- to this brown dye out of my hair. Robin left as he removed his eye patch. While his men sat down to eat, Robin took little John aside. The sheriff thinks Robin Hood is a coward because I didn't show up today, said Robin. I wish he knew who really won his gold arrow. Don't worry, said Little John. I'll take care of that. The next day, the sheriff was hosting a meal at his house. I was surprised Robin Hood didn't show up at the contest yesterday, he said to his guests. Suddenly, an arrow f- flew through the window. It f- fell onto the table, rattling the dishes. Look, there's a note attached, said one of the sheriff's, me- sheriff's men. He handed the note to the sheriff. The sheriff read it loud. Aloud, who's the best archer in Nottingham? Who won your gold arrow? While Robin Hood, of course. The sheriff, the sheriff's face was red with anger as he threw the note on the ground. I'll put Robin Hood in jail if it's that last thing I do.